Hey there, good evening. I know what you're probably thinking. It's Wednesday. Why is Brian here and why are we doing a drink? Well, a well, couple of reasons. Number one, Friday we'll be watching Jacob play. Mm -hmm. So we won't be available Friday evening. Right. And did you just hear what President Trump said? He's banning all trip to trips to Europe for 30 days, except the UK which is, I'm leaving for the UK on Sunday. But we fly through Amsterdam, so. Not, not anymore. Not anymore, <laughs> so I'm in I don't know mode. So thank you so much for everyone that's been messaging me and going, what are, what are you gonna do? I have no idea. We're just gonna have to see what happens because this is a new plot twist in this. It's, we knew it would get interesting and yeah. it just did. So we're gonna make a sugar-free Long Island iced tea. That just sounded like a good idea. Actually, my friend Don suggested it, which we love when people suggest things for us to do. It makes it easy for us. So this is sugar-free, so you don't have to worry about that because usually it has a very syrupy, um, like, is it orange liqueur or something? Yeah, you use that. Like triple sec or something? Yeah. Okay, lots of sugar in that, and it usually has Coke, um, again, lots of sugar, so we've lightened it up. So isn't that awesome? So it's really pretty easy. It just takes a... It's kind of a kitchen sink drink. It is. Having so many different yeah. things yeah, involved in the creation of the drink. Oh, and in case you don't feel like making your own and you don't care about the sugar, which you should, but, you know, whatever, you do you. Um, Applebee's has $1 Long Island iced teas all through the month of March, so just throwing that out there. Just something we heard on the internet. We yeah. can't have an experience. No that. idea about that in person. Anyway. Speaking of uh, viruses affecting things, you had your hand sanitizer. And we have, I guess we, we could see. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so, silver tequila. Let's talk about the tequila. Tequila. Well, this is a. This is called yeah. use what you have. Exactly. We don't have silver. We have a nail. So I'm sure that there is a good reason to want to use the silver, but that's not what we have. So we're making two. I will post the recipe for a single serve um, after I get done with this and vodka. Okay. We have a little bit of vodka because it's great for hand sanitizer. So, you know. A little bit for the hands, a little bit out. for the drink. Yeah, that, there it is, inside and out. Okay, next, light rum. Using a light rum, light instead rum. of our normal spiced rum. And... I'm gonna spill it. Okay, gotta make up for the spill. I'm close. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, and, and gin. gin. All right, awesome. And then you can use orange extract or an orange essential oil that's safe to be consumed. Don't go consuming just any old essential oil that you bought from Walmart. Um, most of that is filled with stuff that you don't want in your body. Fun fact, this is what Brian was talking about earlier, um, citrus oils like orange are actually really good for cleaning gunk out of your liver. So... Just because you're putting something in your liver. Isn't that ironic? All right, so we're just... So it's netting out, right? It's, it's I'm, a net we're going to say bit. yes. We're going to say yes to that. There you go. All right. And then we just... Is there ice yeah. in here? Yeah, I already okay. put ice in there. And yeah, then, I already put ice in here at the beginning before we started. Okay. And then this is a sugar-free margarita mix. I will put that recipe in there, too. So you could just add some tequila to that. And you've got a mar uh, sugar-free margarita. Yeah, it's really simple. This is just uh, essentially lime, lemon, lemon, a little bit more of the orange oil, and some and stevia. Some, yeah, and some sweetener. So it's yeah, really, really easy to make and great to just have on hand. So a little bit more of that, huh? Three, yeah. Three if you're making two. Uh, we're doing a double batch. Okay. So that's the three. Awesome. Okay. Now, now, make sure it's secure so it doesn't go all over the room. So, Long Island iced teas get their color 
from cola, usually just regular Coke. I, we drink diet if anything, but I try not to drink even that. Um, so I like Zevia, which is completely sweetened with Stevia. So when I found out we're gonna make these, I said, hey, pick up some Zevia Cola. Gotta be honest, Zevia Cola is probably not my favorite, but Dr. Zevia and some of the other flavors are really, really good. The black cherry, fantastic. But um, the important part about the cola and the rum in, in the uh, Long Island iced tea is the color that it gives. Can you give it that iced tea color? Well, I forgot that Zevia is, has nothing artificial in it, including color, so it's clear. So I'm going to add Zevia to mine, and he's going to add Pepsi, well, it used to be called Pepsi Max. Now it's Pepsi Zero Sugar. Yep. So do you just add a sploosh, or do you actually well, measure yeah. it? We should have two and a half ounces each, so I would say that's, you're pretty much coming close to that. Okay. So I'll just have a better. Mine looks like lemonade, <laughs> and his looks like tea. So this is the cleaner drink, but that one looks more like the real thing. So you're gonna have to make that call yourself on what you think. All right. Cheers. So, happy Wednesday. Hump happy day. Wednesday. You made it through the, Here's the to program. Europe. Here's to being able to travel. And please share this video because who doesn't love a good Long Island iced tea? And we will be talking to you again soon. I'm sure I'm going to have some stories to tell. Talk to you <laughs> later, guys. Bye.